Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? It's great to see you guys. So, conversations, twins in union, twins in imminent union um, and communication, beneficial communication. Now, a reminder, you don't have to be in communication with your twin to feel that union is imminent, guys. It's a thing, okay? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say that uh, I would encourage you guys to at least watch the beginning of the um, the separation video, if not the whole thing. Um, honestly, there there are, I feel like there are a lot of good messages for all of us, whether you're in separation, union, whatever, where wherever you are on your journey. I feel like it would be a good idea if you want to, because again, that is like an almost an hour long video. Who knows how long this one's going to turn out <laughs> um, to be, but. Um, yeah, and also um, those, because I feel like um, there are a lot of new people. There are a lot of people that are just waking up to this journey, uh, and I mentioned that in the separation video. So if you are one of those and you're watching this video now, I encourage you to continue watching. Um, I encourage you to seek out um, guidance from anyone else that's out there that is in union or at least is in communication with their twin with their twin um, so that you know you can get a different perspective and you can kind of gauge where you might want to be you know uh, working towards on your own journey um, so for those of you that are newly awakened to the journey hey guys um, and again if you're watching this video now just because you're curious I encourage you to continue watching because there could be some really good stuff um, we're, we've been dealing with a lot of solar flares, you know what, I, um, yeah, I, I want to say this, but we've been dealing with a lot of slow solar flares, which is creating, um, the energetic resonance for heart chakra activations. Um, if you want to know more about that, I encourage you guys to check out Aluna Ash. If you have not already, she is fantastic. Like I know a lot of us are already tuned in with her, but, um, if you haven't gotten there yet, if you've been meaning to, or if you haven't heard of her, I would encourage you to check her out. She's giving us some really, really awesome information. Uh, A-L-U-N-A-A-S-H, two words. And yeah, I don't think I want to really um, say much else because most of the introduction for, it, or most of the information that I would put in an introduction is in the video for um, Twins in Separation. I will also say though that if you are in the New York City area, I encourage you to come check me out at Om Shanti Bookstore. It is on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Um, I encourage you guys to come check me out, visit me, let's meet in person, have a little chat. You can, um, I believe you can call the store to like schedule a time for a reading ahead of time. I am there on Mondays from 11 to 5, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The um, website is in the description box below. You can go there and get the phone number and give them a call if you want to schedule something in advance just to make sure that you know you got your space and you are guaranteed to get your reading. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into this. I am doing the normal thing. Um, let me move all this stuff out of the way. I'm doing the normal uh, video reading, um, mirror reading. So the Divine Masculine's deck is on the left. The Divine Masculine's <laughs> the Divine Masculine's deck is on the left. The Divine Feminine's deck is on the right. I have to say, please excuse me if I'm like stumbling. There is a lot of um, strong energy <laughs> running through me right now. I'm not really sure where it's coming from, but I'm a little shaky. And um, yeah, that's happening. So if I'm stumbling on my words, if, if things are starting to get jumbled, I apologize ahead of time. But I'm just feeling like a big rush of energy right now. Anyway... Um, okay, so Divine Masculine's deck is on the left, Divine Feminine's deck is on the right, and then I'm going to be ending the reading with a uh, relationship spread from the Animal Spirit Guides. Yes? Okay, so let's get started. I would encourage everyone to just settle in with me, take a deep breath. So, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective, uh, specifically twins in union, twins in the imminent union stage, and those of us that are in communication with our twins. Please bring forward the best messages for us at this time. 
please give us an accurate representation of the energies of the Divine Masculine symbolized or represented on by the deck on the left and of the Divine Feminine represented by the deck on the right. And please show us how they are interacting with each other at this time. Thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of really strong energy right now. Um, I feel like this is energy between twins in imminent union. It's just like, it's just, it's just really strong. Really, really strong. Um, the Queen of Cups just caught my attention here. And this is the Divine Masculine's deck. Um, so I really feel like, you know, Divine Masculine, you are in a period where you're really, really getting a hold or getting control of your emotions. If you are just now starting to become acquainted with them, with your emotions, that can be, <laughs> that can be a struggle is what I'm hearing, but it also can be really intense. Okay. So don't worry. You're getting there. Um, it's a very good thing. The divine masculine has been, um, you know, integrating with his divine feminine within the divine feminine definitely is rising at the moment um, and the divine masculine is helping with that um, and so the other card that that caught my attention with the queen of cups was judgment which is ascension which is speaking to rising to a higher level to certain degrees so the divine feminine is definitely on the rise right now um, and it's helping to balance a lot of stuff out so either of you divine masculine or divine feminine if you are um, really feeling balance at the moment, like you're feeling the integration of masculine and feminine energy within you, this is why, yeah? Okay, one more shuffle for the Divine Masculine. Excuse me. All right, and I'm going to cut the deck. Okay, Divine Masculine, your energy is set. Now I'm going to get to the Divine Feminine. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so what's catching my attention for the Divine Feminine right now is the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Um, and it's funny because in the separation video, the Chariot came up for the Divine Feminine in her overall energy. And I have, you know reshuffled these cards since I did that reading, and so now the chariot's coming up again. Um, some of you, some of the divine feminines, you're still kind of up in your heads about things moving forward. It could be that you don't necessarily see things moving forward, in, and this is especially for those of you who feel imminent is to be, is, I'm sorry, who feel union is imminent. Um, you don't, you may not see how everything is moving forward, you may not see how everything is moving forward, so that's causing you anxiety. Or you may really feel or see action being taken in in the, the physical, and that's causing you anxiety. It's very much like I said last week about how, um, you know, we I started to feel it, union was coming, and at first it was like, oh, yay, and then all of a sudden it was like, holy shit, run away. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's definitely going on, I feel like, for a lot of the divine feminines that I'm connecting with. All right. Oh, and then the other card that caught my attention was the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, but that's really only because, you know, some of you are questioning whether or not this is really true. And I'm here to tell you guys, it's true. Okay. All right. So let me cut the deck. And then Divine Feminine, Feminine we're going to start with you. All right. So overall energy for the Divine Feminine, we have, aha, ha, ha, the star in reverse. Yeah, we're talking about um, this feeling that sh that a lot of the divine feminines have right now, and it's really what I'm picking up here is mostly that it's the um, it's the lack of physical evidence. It's the lack of well, it's losing hope. Okay, a lot of the divine feminines right now, or at least some of the ones that I'm connecting with right now, are starting to lose hope um, and maybe even faith. And it could it could also be you know. Some of you are in a moment of really 
looking back on things and seeing how things have transpired and thinking there is absolutely no way this is going to happen. But the universe is here to tell you, the star is here guiding you guys. You just have to, you know, keep the faith. You just have to keep moving forward. Don't let the past get you down. The past is just that, the past. And so here we have the five of pentacles in reverse, which is a good thing because for some of you, I want to say for most of you, but I'll, I'll, I'll just resolve to say for some of you, you're letting go of this um, energy of feeling left out in the cold. And what I'm picking up is if you are letting go of this energy, it's because you're not really willing to allow someone to put you in this position or to make you feel like this, like you are lacking, that you're not good enough, that you're out in the cold. Oof, we have the five of swords and that's upright. And Five of Swords, oh, and it was the Five of Wands. No, a lot of the time, the Five of Swords comes out with the Five of Wands. But we here we have the Five of Swords, is, and it's upright. But then we also have the Ace of Pentacles, and that's upright as well. So, here's the thing. It's coming, guys, okay? You have the Ace of Pentacles. There is a brand new start that's coming, but some of you, or a lot of you, I'm feeling, are getting caught up in some sort of Five of Swords energy because you're fed up. You're fed up with feeling left out in the cold, with feeling lack, um, with feeling like you're not good enough, like you're not worthy, like, you know, and um, um, for some, the star is also saying, ooh, 11, 11, the star is also saying in conjunction with that, a lot of what you're feeling is because you're lacking hope, is because you're, you lost faith in some way. And really, I want to say that the overall energy here is really just at giving you guys some sort of guidance. Okay, if you're feeling this way, um, you know, victory is at hand, which is what the Five of Swords has just said to me. Now, the Five of Swords in this card, in this deck, is a lot less <laughs> aggressive, I want to say, than other decks. Um, and that's where this victory is coming from, because, you know, overcoming conflict is really what I'm picking up here. Um, just be careful, because the Five of Swords can be very destructive, very self-destructive, very self-defeating, a very much a lose-lose situation. But um, it's strange. What I'm picking up here from this depiction of the Five of Swords is similar to, like, the Six of Wands. And I guess this is just the way it's um, um, it's illustrated in this deck. But also, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to temper that with a good amount of caution or, you know, just just don't get too aggressive. Okay, moving forward, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse with the King of Pentacles. Guys, union is, is coming, okay? This, if, if, you're really, if you're really a true twin, which I believe most of you are, um, that are watching this channel, have been connected with this channel, um, I'm trying to figure out how to put this because I don't want to put any of you down. It's just there is a heavy dose of lack of hope. Um, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, which is talking about you guys are feeling divine feminine. Some of you are feeling like your wish is never going to come true, that your divine masculine is never going to be this person that you know he is in the physical. And a lot of you, and this, <laughs> I totally understand this, a lot of you are getting really fed up with having this experience with, the divine masculine in the fifth dimension, um, you know, as in their higher selves, but then having a completely different representation of him or her in in the physical. I totally get that. And so what the Nine of Cups in, in reverse and the King of Pentacles is saying is that a lot of you are feeling like he's he or she is never going to step up and be who you know them to be, at least on an energetic level. Um, and, but what, also the other thing I want to say about this is the Nine of Cups is here. Your wish is coming true. It's, you know, wish fulfillment is at hand. Um, you just have to give it a little more time and give the universe a little more space to do what it needs to do to bring this together because this is going to happen, okay? I mean, really the only free will we have <laughs> in this situation is whether to go with the flow or to resist it. That's how I've come to understand it. So don't worry about it, guys. Um, you need to really, you really, really, really need to focus on maintaining your faith. Keep the faith, keep the hope and faith alive, yeah? Moving forward, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Here we go. So we've got the counterparts. Um, and I want to say that the Queen of Pentacles is pretty hard to turn um, 
upside down, to revert, to get reversed, because she's very stable, she's very grounded, she's very controlling, she's got her emotions in check, you know, she doesn't really, uh, uh, she, it's very hard for her to get overcome by emotion. But this is what's happening with you, Divine Feminine, right now, with the Eight of Wands. So, okay, um, a lot of you, a lot of us, really want communication here. Um, and this is part of the reason why the Divine Feminine is losing hope, um, if you're resonating with it in this way, because there is a lack of communication. And I know a lot of readers are out there saying, you know, picking up that communication is coming forward. It's going to come through, guys. You have to remember that energy is fluid, um, and it really depends on where you are in your journey. Um, most of the messages that are coming out from, a, from all the different readers that are out there, unless they put a specific time frame on it, that message could resonate at any moment of your life, okay? It could be 10 years from now, and it could still resonate for you at that moment in time. Keep the faith is something that is, is, that's just being drilled into my head right now. Keep the faith, Divine Feminine. This is going to happen. Things are changing underneath the surface that you cannot see. And that is also what the Eight of Wands is talking about, swift movement, but it's, but it's underneath the surface, okay? Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening, all right? Um... But a lot of the fact that, you know, there's no communication happening in between you and your twin on a physical level, like instead of just telepathically or in the fifth dimension, um, is, starting to, is starting to get the Divine Feminine to lose hope in some cases. And guys, don't do that to yourselves, okay? Um, what You see, the other thing that the Five of Swords is talking about here, and this is where the danger aspect, this is where the self defeating situation comes into play or energy comes into play is the fact that because of because of what we've already discussed the fact that you don't think the divine masculine is going to step up and to be the divine masculine that you know or the 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 being that you know him to be in the physical and the fact that there is no communication going on right now for a lot of us um you know the even though you know there should be or you know there could be or you're hearing that there could be this is all causing, is only helping to facilitate this lack of hope, this loss of faith. Um, and, and, being fed, and being fed up, it's like you almost want to fight. And that's not, I would caution you against that. That's not going to help. It's only going to add more resistance. It's only going to add more blockages into the system, okay? Moving forward, we have the king of, oh, I'm sorry, the knight, the knight of wands with... The knight, uh, the page of swords in reverse. So good. Okay. So here's a little bit of turn of a turnaround in the energy. Divine feminine, you have the ability to um, cultivate your spiritual warrior status that I see the knight of wands to be many a lot of the time, and stave off any sort of um, page of swords energy. Um, 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 lack of tact, uh, lack of maturity when it comes to communication. Um, yeah, so uh, th th these, this combination is actually saying a few things. That's why I'm pausing because I'm trying to get it all and like section it out. But um, the original point here that I was picking up on was that um, you really have the ability to keep to keep any page of swords energy at bay. So this and, and this and the page of swords energy is what we're talking about here when it comes to not uh, losing faith, losing hope, um, uh, giving into um, self-defeating uh, thoughts, energies like with the five of swords, feeling fed up with the five of pentacles in reverse, that kind of thing. You do have the power and the wherewithal to stand within your spiritual warrior status and um, keep any of that extra energy, any of that energy at bay. This is also, on the other hand, this is also talking about divine feminine not keeping tabs on their divine ma on your divine masculine anymore. Um, and because the page of swords can talk about spying, can talk about like you know looking keeping up with people's lives on like social media and stuff like that. Um, and you know that's the position I'm in right now. I don't. I mean I am on social media, but. I don't do the ma I don't do the major one that my divine masculine does anymore. I haven't been on it for like at least a week. 
um, I am making it a point not to go on it, onto it, even though I'm feeling drawn to it. Like there are moments where I'll go on my phone and be trying to do something and end up almost clicking on Instagram and, and then like catching myself. Um, and I'm not really sure where that's coming from, but I know that I'm keeping it at bay. And so that's what this is talking about here. And that actually is a good idea. And actually that is a word of advice because for most of you that are feeling this lack of hope, it's, it could very well be that because you are still like keeping tabs on your divine masculine through means of social media or like spying or whatever. Um, and I'm going to say that the reason why I disconnected in that way was because I realized that the more I, I kept um, interacting in that way, the more I was being kept in some sort of codependent energy. And I did not want that around me anymore. Um, and actually, to be honest, it's kind of like a, a leap of faith type thing. Because if you're constantly checking in on your divine masculine in that way, you're kind of like in disbelief that he's actually doing what you want him to do. You know what I mean? And then when you don't see evidence of it, five of swords energy, when you don't see evidence of it, when you tend to see evidence of the contrary, even at some times, it throws us, it's triggering. It throws us into an uproar. We start to lose faith and hope. And so if you're, if you're in that position right now, let go, stop, stop spying. Just stop doing it. <laughs> Divine feminine, just stop doing it. Okay. Finally, we have the Five of Cups. We've got three fives on, on the deck here, okay, on the board. So, okay, there's change coming. There is, there's a lot of change happening. And yeah, I know it's painful. It sucks. It ta it's taking a long time, it feels like. But hey, time is just an illusion, guys. And the Ten of Cups, Divine Feminine, but the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Divine Feminine... You have to pull yourself out of this. This, this, and I feel, I feel for you guys. But look, this is the video for twins in imminent union, and this is really a message for twins in imminent union. Okay, that's really who I'm talking to right now. So I apologize to those of you who are in union and are watching this. But also, you could be resonating with this too. So just you know, place this where take what resonates. Because again, this is a big general reading. But. Um, you have to, you really, Divine Feminine, you really, really, my advice is to really work on pulling yourself out of this Five of Cups energy. Everything is going just as it should be, okay? It really is. Um, now, this also, the Ten of Cups in Reverse came out for the separation video, I believe. Um, and I'm getting a similar message here. There could be some Divine Feminines who are, um, you know, you feel union is imminent, but you're still, you still may be in a relationship with somebody else. Um, you still may be married. And uh, so what is also, I'm, I'm, what I'm also picking up here is that there are some of you divine feminines that are out there that are like really stressed out about having to leave this karmic or um, soulmate relationship behind in order to facilitate the relationship with your twin. Um, and so I, I totally understand that. It was very difficult for me to get out of my previous marriage, um, you know, because it was never like I hated him or he was really, I mean, he did turn out to have some narcissistic tendencies, but I don't even blame him for that. I understand why, why, why all that happened, knowing what he went through at, at growing up as a child. But it was very, very hard for me to get out of that relationship because I did care about him very much. And so I was very much in this five of cups energy for a long time. But I, um, you know, there is, you know, you know, there is no reason. I'm just going to say it because that's how I'm hearing it. There's no reason to cry over spilled milk. Okay. Whatever is spilling out of these cups, these, you know, cause in a lot of depictions you have five cups, three of them are spilled over, but you still have those two that are full. Anything that is spilling out of the cups right now, um, is stuff that needed to spill anyway. Okay. So don't worry about it. It's all good. All right. But the advice here, the advice here is really just to have faith. Work on keeping the faith. Okay. Because there's underneath, underneath everything that's happening right now. And on what I also, what I'm going to say is I feel is this is really just a phase. Okay. It's not like it, it, it's not, it's not really all that dire. Um, it sounds urgent because I just, I just want you all to feel better, but um, underneath everything, you have the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So there is a new start coming in the material realm. 
And that is directly related to the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay? So just keep the faith. Okay. Divine Masculine. Let's get into your stuff. Overall, underneath the deck, we're starting with the Hermit. Very, very good. So you're going within. You are finding the light within. You are keeping the faith, <laughs> is what I just heard. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. And we're already mirroring here, guys, because we have the Five of Pentacles. But for the Divine Masculine, it is upright. And look at that. I was, if you guys remember, I was just mentioning, I'm going to move this over for a little bit. I, I was mentioning how the Five of Cups, I'm sorry, the Five of Swords in the, um, in the, for the Divine Feminine was giving me a little bit of an energy of, um, the Six of Wands, victory. And look at what we have here underneath everything for the Divine Masculine, the Six of Wands. Victory. So, Divine Masculine, you are experiencing this victorious energy mainly because of this inner work that you're doing. Like, I re like Divine Masculine, you are really doing the work right now. However, we do have the Three of Wands in reverse. Um, and that is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. So, what's happening here, with this, with this inner work that you're doing right now, you're coming to the realization, or you may be even fearing that you cannot move forward with your Divine Feminine. Like, you won't be able to, your efforts won't, your efforts to help this ship come in that you, after this decision that you've made are going to fail, um, and you're going to be left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles here also, okay? So um, you don't have to be worried about that because that's really not the case. Um, you know, take things slowly. Um, but so, but you're also in your, in your hermit, hermitage, in your hermit state, you're analyzing, you're coming to terms and understanding these energies, how your divine feminine had taken steps, you know, because she had chosen you a long time ago, taken steps to bring this forward and you rejected it and left her feeling out of the cold, if that's the case. So now you're you're really coming to terms with that energy. You're really starting to understand it. You may even be feeling it yourself. You may feel like you are left out in the cold, like you cannot take the steps that you need to take to bring this in, to bring your, um, your manifestation, bring your ship in. Um, but it, again, it's all just a phase, and you have the six of wands underneath all of that. So ultimately, this phase that you're in right now is bringing you victory because it's bringing you insight, okay? It's balancing the scales. It's bringing you understanding about, you know, what you've been going through lately and also what the Divine Feminine has been going through lately, okay? Moving forward in your storyline, Divine Masculine, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Chariot. Okay, so... Um, you're moving away from this period of heartbreak. Um, you recognize how, you know, the, the Ace of Cups got got turned around. Um, and now you're moving forward in a very passionate way to fix it, which is great, okay? The Chariot is talking about um, moving forward with something that you find emotionally fulfilling, emotionally satisfying. Um, and it talks about swift movement. So that's very, very good. And what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling with the Ace of Cups and the chariot, some of you want to just ride in, <laughs> ride in and save your divine feminine from this, this ace of cup, this, this, um, spillage. Um, you want to, you want to ride in and turn the divine feminine's cup right side up again and be, be like, here, I'm, and I, I want to, I want to offer you this cup. And it's through this introspection, through this hermit stage that you're currently in, that you're realizing how, you know, you have this cup of love to give. And it's, it's what I'm feeling is like, it's almost like you're the, the sadness that you feel is driving you forward that much quicker. It's okay. So that's nice. That's really, that's really, really nice, <laughs> Divine Masculine. Okay, moving forward, we have the Eight of Pentacles with... The Eight of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Okay. So, um, very interesting. Give me just a second here. Let me... First of all, the fact that these two came out together is fantastic. I'm feeling... And it's fantastic and really kind of cool. So what I'm feeling like here, this is saying the Eight of Cups in reverse is saying there could be some blockage towards moving forward, moving away from some sort of situation that no longer serves you. But underneath that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So that's telling me... 
that divine masculine, you, if you're feeling like you cannot move forward, you're still doing the work to facilitate this, to open up the pathway so that you can walk away from that which is unfulfilling to you, that which you no longer resonates with, um, that that which you feel like is holding you back in, in a sense. So that's really good. It could also be, what I'm also picking up from this combination, is that you feel like, like you feel like you can't move away from something and that's illusionary. It is. It's an, it's illusionary. If you're res if you're resonating with the message in this way, um, and you've been doing the work, but you still feel like you can't move away from whatever is unfulfilling for you, you feel like you, the, there is no open way of doing it. That's an illusion. Okay. And if that's the case, you really just have to bite the bullet and do it. <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you can plan for is what I'm picking up in this situation. So at some point, there's going to you're really just going to need to do it. I also want to point out that, um, oh, okay, also part of that message is fear of the unknown is really just going to hold you back, okay? You're not going to know everything. You can't prepare for everything. <laughs> you can't prepare for everything. You can prepare, don't get me wrong, but you can never prepare for any, any everything because you never know what the universe is going to throw at you, okay? And I'm, I'm not saying that to scare anybody. I'm just saying... Don't worry about it, you know, get your ducks in a row so that you have at least an idea of what you want to do. But then at some point you just got to, you just got to do it. Okay. But the other thing that I want to point out is that we have the eight of wands. Oops, sorry. We have the eight of wands here for the divine feminine. And right under that, we have the eight of cups and the eight of pentacles for the divine masculine. That is just like really, really cool. <laughs> okay. Moving forward, we have the 10 of cups in reverse. Okay, so more mirroring. And this time, both Ten of Cups are reversed for both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And we have, oh, the lovers in reverse. So Divine Masculine, in your hermit stage, if you have had a karmic partner, well, many, I mean, if you're dealing, if you're coming out of dealing with a karmic partner, if what you need to move away from is a karmic partner, that could be a friend, family member, it could be a romantic partner. Also, you're handling that. You're dealing with that. You're, you're, you're um, looking at how this choice that you have made with the lovers in staying with the karmic partner has really just given you a ten of cups in reverse situation. You thought it was going to be ultimately fulfilling emotionally. Turns out it wasn't. So you're, so you're analyzing, you're analyzing um, the choice you made in choosing this karmic partner over like say over your twin in some cases and how that was unfulfilling for you what about it was unfilling for you like you're really coming to terms with that finally for the divine masculine we have the page of wands not the page the knight of wands so more mirroring guys but here the knight of wands is in reverse with the nine of swords in reverse sorry guys i was looking at the decks here um to see, I'm just looking at things. <laughs> Please excuse me. Um, again, there's a lot of really strong energy flowing right now, so I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> All right, so Divine Masculine, the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. For some of you, um, again, in this Hermit stage, you are um, seeing how you were, I mean, there are the nine, the knight of wands is can be very promiscuous, can be very wishy washy, in and out, not really, um, not really committing to anything, and um, you know you've been up in your head about that a lot recently because it's really come become aware, it's really become apparent to you, especially what this also the the lovers and the ten of cups is talking about is that kind of energy as well. You know, you're not really being committed to anything, um, just running around being a player and all that. And you've been up in your head about it because you, for some time, I feel like, because it has become aware to you, um, you know, how that has been adversely affecting you. But here with the Nine of Swords in reverse, now you're starting to come to terms with it. You're starting to understand that, you know, your past does not define you. Um, you can make a choice to be something different moving forward. And you are actively choosing to be something different now. You are going through the process of being something different different. Um, you are going through the process of stepping into your spiritual warrior status, which is fantastic, Divine Masculine. Um, yeah, so the mirroring here, guys, we are, I, I, Divine Feminine, this is a message for you. You, we really, you really, I really want you to pay attention to how much mirroring is going on in this, in, in this spread right now. Granted, this is a mirror reading, but, um, 
I just I just want you to take note of how much mirroring is happening because this is this is another uh, indication to you. This is proof to you that you are in fact connected with your divine masculine. You you don't have to worry. You don't have to fear that this is not going to happen because we both divine masculine and divine feminine. We both want this to happen. Okay, so you really need to keep the faith. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Excellent. So let's get into the love spread here. I'm sorry, the relationship spread from the animal spirit deck. Just going to shuffle this up three times. And then I'm going to do a free shuffle and just let the cards come out on their own. Okay, so for the divine masculine, one card please. I do want to say that the rabbit, woo, okay, no, that's too many. Rabbit popped out while I was pre-shuffling. Um, oh, here we go. Divine masculine. <laughs> yeah, phoenix. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But Rabbit came out, um, and I now I know why. Because, and, and Rabbit actually came out for the relationship spread in the, um, um, in the separation video. Um, so if you want the definition of that, I, you can go out, you guys can go ahead and, you know, skip to the end of that video and you can see, I believe it came out for the Divine Masculine. I don't remember. Um, but it talks about, you know, it's it's almost like a chicken little type thing. Like the sky is falling, the sky is falling, you know. And, and it talks about how self fulfilling prof prophecies, where you um, you know you keep saying, "Oh, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen," and then all of a sudden, yeah, it does. Why? Because you're focusing on that. That's you you get what you focus on. Um, so I wanted to bring that forward. So I encourage you guys, and I, I can't, I'm not really doing the definition all that much justice right now. Um, so if you want, if that's resonating with you, I would encourage you to at least go to the separation video and watch that part to see what the definition of rabbit. Yes. Moving forward for the divine feminine. One card, please spirit. Divine feminine. There we go. Butterfly, excellent. For the shadow dynamic, we have turtle. And for the illuminated dynamic, we have panther. Yes, we do. That's the right one. All right. Divine Masculine, I love that you're coming out as uh, the Phoenix right now. That's, that's so badass. <laughs> okay, so uh, Divine Masculine, Phoenix. Excuse me. All righty. Come on now. I'm sorry, guys. I can't I can't even begin to tell you how crazy this energy is right now. Like, oh, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. okay. Phoenix, freedom from suffering, hallelujah, and past karma, hallelujah, reincarnation. The phoenix represents the transformation of our past. It doesn't mean running from it, denying it, or burning bridges with rage. The phoenix em employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through patience and dedication, tapas. The essence of the phoenix is with us when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change. We take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and its long list of fears and aversions. At the very moment, at that very moment, excuse me, the spark of the phoenix is lit and the great bird helps us burn through our baggage. We no longer run from who we are, what has happened to us, or what we have done. The stuckness, quote unquote, and the quote, dead weight fall into the ashes and a lightness and clarity emerge. As the stagnancy continues to smolder, the phoenix lifts our spirits up and up and we begin to recognize ourselves again. We may catch a glimmer in our eye that wasn't there before. Look closely. It's a sign the fire of transformation is upon your wings. The Phoenix and the First Chakra. The ancient yogis believed that our heaviest karmas reside in the first chakra. This earthen center is also called Muldahara, or our root. The, act, the ascent of the Phoenix begins here, and as the entanglement 
of karmas is slowly burned, it rises from the ash towards the navel center. Again and again, it makes this journey from first to third chakra, purifying our essence, freeing us from the past. Hallelujah! Can I get any man? <laughs> All right, for the divine feminine, we have butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly. Here we go. <clears throat> butterfly. Undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a, quote, cocoon. Committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer, done at the same place and same time will do wonders for lifting, your butter lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, butterfly is cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, <laughs> butterfly is fragile and frustrated. To bring into balance, one should pra must practice a daily routine. Okay, so check it out. I told you, Divine Feminine, you are going through a, a phase right now and you're kind of losing hope because you may not be seeing what's happening underneath the surface. But again... Transformation is happening, Divine Feminine. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Transformation is happening. And Butterfly, the, I mean, the, the definition in the books spoke specifically to, it could be about a relationship. So hello, a relationship, Divine Feminine. Like, just because you do not see it underneath, see all of the change happening right in front of you does not mean it's not happening. All right? Shadow Dynamic, we have Turtle. Slow and steady wins the race, y'all. <laughs> Divine feminine. <laughs> okay. Turtle. Ancient soul, grounded, trusting, at home in the self. It's a one, it's, it is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. This helps to ground and connect them to the deeper truths of life, no matter where their travels lead them. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use. The most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books that begin to tell our own true tale. I'm sorry, the most, the most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale. I'm not sure if I said that right the first time. When in balance, a turtle is peaceful, adventurous, and protective. When out of balance, turtle slows down to a halt. To bring into balance, one must go on an adventure. And let me tell you guys, this is an adventure. So um, there is another message that's coming through here. The shadow aspect, the underlying aspect to the relationship right now is divine masculine and divine feminine, understanding that the lives, because all of us, Twins have lived many, many lives. We are very much old souls. So we have a lot to teach. We have a lot that we can help people understand. So coming to terms with that aspect of, of this twin flame reality is part of what we are all going through right now. So Divine Feminine, this is um, for you, this is going through this period of kind of losing hope because you're not seeing the, 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 res the results. Divine Masculine, analyzing yourself, going within and really taking a deeper look at what you've been through and how, and you know, what you've been going through and how, and the both of us allowing that to be seen to the world so that we all can really teach the, um, the lesson really of unconditional love. Okay. Finally, for the illuminated aspect, we have Panther. And let me tell you, man, Panthers are my motherfucking spirit animal, y'all. Hey, hey. I love panthers. I really do love panthers. Okay, if I could be any animal, it would be a panther. Bam, there it is. <laughs> All right, panther. Annihilation of the unnecessary. Purging. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc. Dot, dot, dot. With the ultimate intention of bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating, but after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. 
When in balance, Panther is brave and productive. When out of balance, Panther is self-destructive. To bring into balance, one must get rid of the unnecessary. And really, in reading that definition, I am all about Panther energy. Like, Panther literally is my spirit animal. But that is, I mean, that's kind of, that's speaking to this path as a twin flame also. Um, you know, and many of, and the, uh, there's some advice coming through that um, some of the, a lot of the changes that are happening recently for the twins, they could be very abrupt. And you could be like, what the hell? Why did it have to happen that way? But once you get through it, like the card said, you'll see that, you know, it was actually kind of necessary and it really did help. Um, and now you're free. Um, yeah, but also, you know, there are going to be a lot of changes that, you know, twin flames are going to be initiating. And um, <laughs> to be quite honest, you know, there are going to be a lot of people around us that are like, getting offended, getting very angry it's, and, and blaming us, saying like, well, why are you doing this to us? And it's like, guys, we're not doing anything that wasn't already going to happen to begin with. All we're doing is helping us, helping everyone get through this moment. So you can, so please don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's about it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Divine Feminine, please keep the faith. Everything, things are changing, okay? You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to worry. Divine Masculine, Rock on, man. Like, y'all are doing the work. And I know it's a struggle, but hey, it's worth it. <laughs> it's totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Um, yeah, so there it is, guys. Much love to you all. Um, I look forward to connecting with you guys again for our next conversation next week. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.